Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. This is me, Apostle Esther. I pray that you are already having an amazing day. Thank you so much for joining me. We are always super excited to share in the gospel, the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are here every Monday through Friday um, at 10 a.m. to share with you what the Lord is sharing with us. I am an ambassador of the Lord Jesus Christ, a good news carrier of the message of his gospel. Always excited to share with you what God is sharing with me. Uh, I, I tell you, we, we serve a, an awesome God. This is a day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, we have a reason and a right to rejoice. We have a reason and a right to give God praise, to give him glory and to give him honor. Listen, I am going to give you a moment to get your Bibles, to get your notepads, to get your iPads. We are coming right back with the word of the Lord. All this week, we have been talking about the word of God, the word that strengthens up the, us, the word that empowers us, the word that gives us vision for what God is doing in and concerning our lives. I'm going to hang out right here, review a few things. We're coming right back with the word of faith. We'll be back in just a moment. God bless you. Amen. As promised, we are right back. Again, thank you so much for joining me. And we want to look today out of the King James translation at Hebrews uh, chapter 4 and verse 12. We've been teaching on the word of God, the word of the Lord on this week. And the Bible says, for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Want to just quickly remind you that the word of God, the word that goes before us, the preceding word, the settling word, the sure word of God, the Bible says is quick and it's powerful and it's sharper than any two-edged sword. So when we're desiring God to move for us, this is a word that we can understand that his word is a lot. It's moving for us. It's transforming things. It's changing things because it is the authority of his word that we stand on. Uh, the Bible says that now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And so when we begin to marry these scriptures together and we see that we have faith and we have the word of God and uh, uh, the Bible says, so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So when we hear the word of God, whatever it is we need God to move for in our lives, we need to see this word. This word right here, Hebrews 4 and 12, we need to understand that the Bible says it's quick, it's powerful, it's sharper than any two-edged sword. So while I'm speaking, God is already releasing. While I'm speaking, God is already working it out. While I'm speaking, God has already given us the victory because his word is a settling word. The word of the Lord says forever, O Lord, is your word settled in heaven and in earth. So when we hear this word, we can rest in the confidence of the Lord that it is so. It is finished and it is already done. Well, you already know I'm Apostle Esther. Super excited about the assignment that the Lord has me on. I want to thank you in advance for sharing, liking, and if you so desire, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel? It'll bless your life. Uh, so thank you so much for joining me. God bless you. We will be back on tomorrow with more good news of his gospel. Have an amazing day. God bless you.